Have you ruined your metabolism? Hey, welcome back to Live Lean TV for Women. I'm your host, Jessica Guthrow, and I specialize in helping ladies live lean. A few weeks back, I posted a video about metabolic damage and how to fix it. If you wanna watch that video, you can click right here. What I didn't talk about in that video was how to tell if you actually have metabolic damage or how metabolisms get broken and how you can avoid doing that. So today, I've broken it down into the four most common ways you can cause metabolic damage so that you can be aware and make sure that you don't do this to your own metabolism. Metabolic damage causing mistake number one is not eating enough food and I see this all too often so many women are afraid to eat too much food that they end up not eating enough so yes it's true that in order to lose weight you need to be in a caloric deficit but the problem is most people take this deficit to the extreme your deficit should be no more than 250 to 300 calories below your basal metabolic rate so putting yourself on a 500 800 or even a 1200 calorie diet is oftentimes way too low so to give you some figures and some numbers, let's use me as the average size woman. I'm 5'6", I weigh 130 pounds, and I'm pretty active daily. So when I calculate my own numbers, 2400 calories is the level I should be eating to maintain my weight. So hopefully you can see why going on a 1200 calorie diet just doesn't make sense with the numbers. You might think that the more extreme the deficit in your diet, the faster the weight loss. But unfortunately, this is not true. Our bodies have a mechanism in them that can sense when we're starving or when there's not enough food in our environment to keep us alive. Then your body switches into fat storing mode. It's like a survival mechanism that is trying to keep you alive. So yes, you'll lose weight rapidly in the beginning if you start slashing your your calories but what happens over time is your body recognizes this starvation mode and it starts attacking your muscles instead of your fat cells that's exactly what you don't want when it comes to body recomposition remember we're trying to burn the fat and save the muscle not to mention you might ruin a few of your personal relationships by how cranky you become on such a starvation diet <laughs> All right, mistake number two is actually eating too much. I know this is crazy, I'm telling you don't eat too little, but also be very aware that you don't eat too much because of course, eating too much causes weight gain and it can confuse your metabolism into believing that there's always gonna be that much food readily available. So then when you try to correct the imbalance, your metabolism is already slower than you expect it to be. And mistake number three is eating the wrong types of foods. I was super guilty of this in the beginning. I fell for all the marketing hype and purchased all the foods that said they were lean or diet or low fat, low calorie. I was totally guilty of this. I used to think that all calories were created equal and it all that mattered was calories in versus calories out. But you don't have to be a nutritionist to figure it all out. Just know that real food is better than processed food. Metabolism damaging mistake number four is infrequent eating. If you're going long stretches of time without eating food and then you eat a bunch of food all at once, this is also confusing your metabolism and making it really hard for it to get into that steady fat burning zone. So ignore those hunger signals, ignore the cravings, and you should be eating consistently and steadily no matter what. I know that this is especially hard as a woman because we have our time of the month and we have those hormone fluctuations that make us crave chocolate and unhealthy foods at that time of the month. Stay strong and stay focused. I recommend you eat at least three to four meals a day and space them apart accordingly. So the way you know you have metabolic damage is when you've corrected everything. You have the right caloric level and you're exercising regularly and intensely and you're still seeing no progress. But the solution here is to have patience. And I know that's the hardest thing to hear in a world where we want everything yesterday. To think that you just have to stick it out and stay the course is one of the hardest things you have to do. But trust me, this is the best, especially in the long run, when you have that steady fat burning metabolism that's gonna work for you day and night and help you live lean 365. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments down below. It really helps the community when you share your experiences. If you've ever had metabolic damage or if you think you might, let us know in the section below because other women are experiencing the same thing and would love to hear from you. Thank you so much. Give me a like. Make sure you're subscribed because we do new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We love having you part of the Lively Nation. Thank you. Bye. So you're eating right and you're exercising right, but the scale is going up. What's up with that?